Hi everyone and welcome to Genius Hour this week. This week we're going to be working with the information that we collected the last week as well as our questions to start doing our actual research. So first of all I want you to make sure that you've completed both your Genius Hour research and your questions from last week. If you have not done these yet you need to do these first because if you do not have these done then you will not be able to do the research this week. So you do need to make sure that you have completed all of your Genius Hour questions and collected your websites and information. Now, if you're having trouble with some of your information, let me just show you again what you can do. So if I hit this pencil here in the bottom corner and I get ready to edit, I will now be able to edit this document. So I need that website for Visit London. Here I am over at Visit London. I just gotta find it, Visit London. If I hold my finger down up here on the URL, I can copy that, come back to my Google Doc, hold my finger down, paste it, and put a space at the end. Now it knows that it is a link to open. If I want to go back to any of my websites, hit the check mark in the top corner, and now I can open a website, for example, the official website of Hampton Court Palace. If I hit that, Boom, it opens. So what is Genius Hour all about? Genius Hour is all about learning. It's not about just doing the questions to hurry up and check them off. If you are not excited to work this week on your project, you have the wrong topic. If you're not excited to read and watch and learn, you got the wrong topic. Because Genius Hour is what you want to learn. I've got some students who want to learn how to play guitar, how to bake, how to... Um, Oh, I'm trying to remember a couple of the other how-tos, but I remember how to do art, how to do DIY crafts. Um, I also have students who are learning different topics. For example, they're learning about their favorite musician or their favorite actor, learning how to play Minecraft. That's what Genius Hour is about. What do you want to learn? Well, me, I'm a history guy. So I want to learn a little bit more about Hampton Court. I've got a YouTube video. I've got some different websites. Even a book that I had bought that I have not read yet. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Well, this would be a good reason to read that book. So as I look at what we're going to be doing this week, this week is about the research. Now I want you to review your questions from your Google Doc called Genius Hour Questions. Which questions really inspire you? Which questions are you excited to answer? These are the questions you'll want to work with. You do not have to answer every question you had on your Genius Hour Questions. There are guides to your project. Some people might do 20 questions, some might do 10. If I have a lot of open-ended questions, I'm gonna do less than if every question I have is, what's the population of London? How many people live in London? How many cars are in London? Well, those are really easy to just Google and get the answer. So again, that's not what we're doing. As we ask our questions, I want you to research and type information you find out. Do not copy and paste from Google. That's not what this is about. So I was trying to show that as an example here, and I crossed it off. If I just start copying and pasting off of Wikipedia, that's useless. That's not research. That's just filling in information to get a project done. I want to learn. So for example, one of the things I wanted to know is how big is Hampton Court Palace? As I come back to my websites, I don't want you to just Google how big is Hampton Court Palace? Six acres. Okay, I'm done. No, that's not learning. I want to learn about Hampton Court Palace. So here I am on the official website from Historic Royal Palaces where I ordered that book. And I want to learn a little bit about it. Now, regretfully, it's closed due to COVID-19. But there's a lot of things that I can do online. So I want to find out a little bit more and discover... Discover our virtual palaces. Ooh, I can see some things like with some 3D virtual tours. Well, that's awesome. Oh, five brilliant history resources for homeschooling. Wow, I can find out about these places here online. Oh, look at that. Take a virtual 360 degree tour. Oh, wow. So my friends, that's what Genius Hour is about. If you're not having ooh and wow and I didn't know that, then you have chosen the wrong topic. 
Genius Hours about what you want to learn. This week, you're going to be learning and researching. I want you to read, watch, jot down ideas, jot down facts that you learn. Because next week, my friends, we are going to begin making your project. Now, if you want to get a head start, start thinking about what you could do with all the information you learn. If you want to make a video, awesome, make a video. If you want to do a slideshow, make a slideshow. If you want to teach us by doing a couple posters, then teach us by making posters. That's what Genius Hour is all about. What do you want to learn and how will you teach somebody else? So again, this week is going to be about your research should be done. Now it's going to be about answering your questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Your resources should be done so you can use your resources to do your research. My, my fault there and my word choice. Continue to add to this document. So as I ask my questions, I can keep adding more and more and more to this. If I get down to a level and I'm like, hey, Mr. Score, I need more lines. I need more lines. You can add. You can add to your table and you can add more rows to the table. Absolutely. You can create your own table. So again, that was with the plus sign right up here, table, and I can add more rows as I find more information. That will just help you to organize your facts so your document's a little bit more well set up. Thank you so much, friends, and I hope you have a great day of learning today.